TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. And by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This is my warning. Uh, YouTube, let me stop you right there. Everything that should be blurred out and beeped out is blurred out and beeped out. But if y'all do y'all due diligence properly, yeah, I will see that. I salute y'all. Thank y'all for making it possible. Anywho, uh, don't forget we do got uh, Patreon. We also got um, uh, merch and twitch.com. The username is at the bottom, man. Let's get into this. This is Jeremy Cow. Dads demand DNA's like DNA test, I guess. Right. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Good morning and a welcome to a very special episode of the Jeremy Carl Show. Now, each of the stories on today's show revolve around dads demanding DNA tests. First up today is David, who's here to find out if he's the father to ex-partner Kelly's two, yes, two, youngest kids. Now, since spreading with David, two? Kelly's got back with ex-boyfriend Anthony, and David firmly believes that he could indeed be the biological father. He is here for answers. Big day for this guy. David is on the Jeremy Carl Show. Give him a round of look excited or terrified. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Not gonna lie, David. You want to hope that you're not this just that is her ex she with her other partner or whatever you don't want to be here you don't want this uh, let's do what we always do and lay out a few details so people here this. in a home understand uh, Kelly your ex how long were you with her for uh, approximately five years okay. on and off uh, three with her two the youngest two uh, we're doing DNA tests today you That's say right. I'm coming to find out paternity of my two youngest kids and I have doubts why because of, um, she's actually said in arguments, um, they're not mine. Um, How old are they? Uh, Emily, she's not tearing. See, women be going for the jugular. When you tell a man these ain't your kids anyway in the middle of an argument, like, what are you, what are you expecting from that? What do you, what do you, what response do you really want from that? Because it could go a multitude of ways. What you mean this ain't my kid? I could, like, you know what I'm saying? It could be a domestic. If you that type of man, it could be, you know what I'm saying? It could be, a lot of things could happen at that junction. You got, that's a spooky woman that don't care about a lot of things in life when she say that type of stuff. November, uh, and Daisy, uh, Taylor, um, he's five months, going on six. She has actually told you, yeah. during an argument, these kids aren't yours, yes. which is absolutely why you'd want to come and do a DNA yes. test. Um, Let's talk about the break, because I said in the introduction, uh, since the split, which was a month ago... Yeah, Prox. She's now back with... Anthony. Were you aware of this guy? Um, yeah, I was, because she, she's done it before, and I forgave her twice. She's um, cheated... Twice? You're an idiot. <laughs> before? Yeah. With him? Uh, I don't know for 100%, but... Um, well, this is what happens when you don't set boundaries in a relationship. <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah. We've DNA tested Anthony as well. He was, by all accounts... Or you're insecure in your relationship. You, so insecure, when you're insecure in your relationship, you don't set boundaries because you're scared the person going to leave you. <sighs> Example A. That's Kelly, your ex's first love. Yeah. Uh, they suddenly get together literally a number of days after you're apart. She's cheated before. She's admitted that you might not be the father. That would make you think maybe Anson is part of it. Has no, he moved in? Is he there with no, the potential? No, not yet. No. He, he, he knows not to dare to come near me. In fact, somebody was telling me earlier that, that the... <laughs> Who are you? I'm sorry. What do you mean he knows not to dare not to come near you? He came near your girl. Twice. Three times. He put children in her. <laughs> while you were dating like who are you you're nobody to him no offense but like that line didn't resonate it didn't hit it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give 
that the, the situation isn't great. You, you've got a, a shared tenancy at yeah, the moment. Yeah. You're sort of coming that, that and was, going. And yeah. How's it affecting the kids, this breakup? Um, well, Emily keeps saying, uh, Emily's actually said to me, um, I asked her why she was crying, um, and she goes, oh, because you and Mummy keep arguing and you're going. And, you know... You told my team this morning, I've always tried to do right by my kids, I'm a brilliant dad, and the big shock for you with this story, which is relevant to the audience, is it was only a month ago, I think, or, or literally a few months ago, two, three, you were going to settle down, you were going to yeah. buy an engagement ring, and suddenly she goes, it's over and moves, well, yeah, to soon, him straight away. As soon as it gets tough, she runs. So I give it, bill. what, six months to two years with Auntie, then she'll do the same. What sort of mother is she? Um, when... Uh, be honestly, look, be honest, look at me. Um, I, I do most of the stuff. You told um, my team she's lazy. Yeah, she is. Very lazy. Um, when I'm not there, yeah, she'll do what she has to do. Um, but when I'm there, she asks me to put the dinner on, give them the dinner, put them to bed, uh, perfectly all of it. And, like, when I go out the front and have a fag and that, she goes, um, I, um, when you finish that, can you ta change Taylor's bum? Oh, God, you might as well try to go to the court system and get your kids for yourself. What is her point? What is her existence? Like, what, what was the point? You know what I'm saying? I got, I'm a single father. got my daughter. I do all of that. Without the hassle of a, of, of a bum baby mama. So it's like, just get rid of her. You could do all of that by yourself. And, you know, she could easily just do that. Um... Do you want? Do you have feelings for this woman? No, that's, not, that's gone. Not, no, yes, you're a bit do. annoyed that she's with this guy because that opens, I guess, the floodgates in your mind, which is were they together before and was was he? Uh, if they are your kids, there she is with the new love of her life, Anthony. Um, w w if these kids are yours, what happens? What do you want? Um, I just want him to back off and um, sort his own life out and stop interfering with mine. He's and you want to you want to be their dad? What if she is the liar you purport that she might be, and he turns out to be the father of one or both of these children? It would break my heart because I adore him a lot. Because like I just I say to little Taylor, he's it's only five guy. months. I say, can Daddy have a kiss and that? And he, he wobbles his head to try and give me a kiss, and he lays on my um, shoulder and gives me a cuddle. Massive day for you. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's get her out. This it's is your ex, guy. Kelly. Uh, together five years. You split a month ago. She's already with the first love of her life. He's a good guy, man. I can tell why Kelly. I can tell why Kelly uh, walks all over him because he, she's given the opportunity every day. You got to have that edge to you, though, man, when you're a good guy. You got to be able to, I ah, know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got Anthony, to. Anthony, DNA doubts from the two youngest. Kelly's on the Jeremy Cow Show that way. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. Not sound great. It didn't take you long to get back with Anthony, did it? No. What? No. So were you seeing him before you split out with him? No. But why yes. did you tell him that he wasn't the father of both of these kids in the I middle of an argument? What? I said it in anger. Oh, that was intelligent, wasn't it? <laughs> Jeremy. Why would you do that? Because he was nasty to me. <laughs> he might well have been nasty to you, but telling him that he's not the father of the two youngest kids that apparently he does everything for because you're lazy, that's his words, not mine, that's not very nice, is it? No. Well, you're very quiet for somebody who's very gobby backstage. Talk to each other. I'm not a liar. I do plenty for my kids. You put yeah. your car before me, right? Okay? Your you car? call me nasty names. Right, who started? Before me. Talk to each other. I'm not a liar. I do plenty for my kids. You put yeah. your car before me. words, not mine. Not bad, Talk to each other. Right, okay? You call right. me nasty names. Plenty for my kids. You put yeah. your car before me. He said, You put your car? Listen. For all the ladies in here. My man put his whole life on hold, had children with you, moved in with you. All he has left is his car. That's it. Let the man have his car. Whenever he want to do something with that car, think about what you're doing when you stop him. You're taking his peace, his quiet time, his surrender. That's like a man cave. Like, let the man have his car. God, Lee, you got every other piece of him. <laughs> Right, okay. You call right. me nasty names. Right, who starts it, hey? Who starts it? You do. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I only uh, get angry back because of you start the, start the argument. 
Yes, so do you. You told my team he was a controlling bully, which is why yeah. I finished it, and the man who was more interested in his car... Yeah, he his... is. But um, when you've got an MOT and taxi car when it's due to run out, what are you supposed to do? Get the, let the council take it away? I've absolutely no idea, but there's a bigger issue here. Uh, you are saying... <laughs> you're, you're saying that, that, that he was not very nice. Yeah. No. Hey, Jeremy said, I have no idea I get too much money to be worried about that. But let's focus on the real issues here. That's tough. Why don't you keep having kids with him, then? Yeah. They weren't planned. They weren't planned? No. But so, I adore my So kids. you were with a man who you didn't like, who was a controlling bully, who was more interested in his car, yet you kept having kids with a man who... Well, what sort of father is he? Because he says he was a brilliant dad. He said he did everything and you didn't do anything. I did plenty for my kids. Yeah, when I'm not there. And you have done stuff while I was there, but, you know, nine times out of ten, you asked me to do it. There, too many people know. Any chance he ain't the dad? No, he's the dad. 100%? Yeah, 100%. So you were saving away. 1,000%. Why say I'm because not... Because you're a... nasty to me. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm stuck in the middle. You, you got... Hey, what, are you trying to meet... You trying to meet his energy? Is that what you're saying? But Anthony, quite quickly, Kelly. He's an ex from school. But, I mean, how did you get together with him in a number of days after you'd finished after five years with... I was with... friends with him. It's not... What, on Facebook? Yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and she's deleted me on Facebook. I don't well. understand that. <laughs> So you, 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 you had contact, why am I doing that? You had contact with, with, with Anthony. See, man, that's why it's tough, man. This is the re this is, this is, hey, y'all gonna hate me. This is the reason why you, why you really can't, if your girl doesn't have enough respect for you to cut off her guy friends, then don't be with her. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, I got guy friends, he's just a friend. No, he's not, because at any moment you can call that man and be like, hey, let's, have intercourse and he gonna say yes 100 percent he's just waiting men play the long game we will wait we will pretend to be your best friend and as soon as that man gets to act oh come cry on my come cry on my shoulder put your head in my lap <laughs> oh god don't do it if your girl got male best friends they want her and she knows it she's back pocketed them for a rainy day and I'm, uh, I'm not even even cabin you. I'm being dead. I'm so serious. Don't be that person. Anthony on Facebook, and then when it went wrong with David, you turned to Anthony, yeah? Yeah, as What's... a friend. As a friend, yeah. But now friends more Every than time friend. those two end up talking, they end up getting back with each other. You are in a relationship with Anthony now, yes? And how's that been? How's that? Yeah, good. Is he, he makes nice me happy. You? He works. You told my team he works. He's a better dad than he'll ever be. I hate that phrase. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, he is. How can he be? You just said he was a good dad, this one. He can be a good dad. He you just, just said that one was better than him. He just puts his car first. Does he give you any money for the kids? He gives me money to get nappies and that, but he wants the money back. What do you mean he wants the money back? Not, not always straight away. He Another lends time, you money I'll... to buy a nappy. <laughs> <laughs> is that your, oh, so is that your kid? Another lends time, you money I'll... to buy a nappy. <laughs> Kids, you can't see. Here's the thing, duh. You can't get the money back. You have no, to provide yeah. for your kids. Yeah. 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 I know that. Does Anthony um, provide? He lends me money. There's a lot of lending going yeah, on. Yeah, you want they both want their money. We're going to prove that he is indeed the father of both of your kids. You're going to say to him, "I'm happy with Anthony. We need to sort this out for the sake of the kids." Yeah. Any doubt in your mind at no. all? One hundred percent. You have doubts. You have. Anthony, have you? No, That's properly. coming next. Plus, for the break, talking not to David and Kelly here uh, for Double DNA on your two youngest kids. You came out, David, and you said, look, I was with this woman. I was planning to marry her, yeah. right? Then there's an argument. In the argument, she says you're not the, di the, the, the kid's father. Then within a number of days of us splitting, despite the fact that I was happy, she's back with the love of her life, Anthony. Yeah. They were always on Facebook or whatever. You came out and said, no, 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 hold on a minute. He's horrible to me. Nasty names, uncaring. Despite the fact he says I do nothing, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't provide for these kids. Yet another example in modern-day Britain of two people who maybe or maybe not created three lies and didn't stop and think about the consequences. This is the new love of your life, isn't it? Anthony's on the Jeremy Carl show. He Kids, you don't yeah. support her, yeah. and you don't call her yeah. Give it six months to two years. Yeah, you no, are. she will do nothing like that. I've had waste the space. plenty of time You're a waste to get space. hold of you. You're yeah. a waste of space. If you're alone, Bring because I don't then. give a no. you two. Okay. But at the end of the day, you don't, you don't give a about your kids. You're going to play daddy. Would you How am I playing daddy? How am I playing daddy? They both look like they eat Slim Jims and drink Mountain, drink Mountain Dew. And play video games.
No offense. I mean, especially, 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 buddy. How am I playing daddy? I'm here to support Kelly and the kids. No. Do one. No, at the end of the day, you're a You pay nothing for them. All you do is think about your car. At the end of the day, if you've got kids, you get rid of the car. You support your family and your kids. Yeah, I do. (laughs) Nice. Uh, Welcome to the show. Uh, So... Please don't rub a leg like that. Um, so, uh, <laughs> you, uh, be quiet. Uh, so you, um, Anthony, how long did you know Kelly? I mean, were you friends for quite a while? We've known each other since we were 14, 15. Did you have a relationship at all with her? Or was... Yeah, when we were in school and we've got back a number of times, but we're ten times stronger now than we've ever been. When she was going through the problems with David, you were a friend? Yes. You weren't sleeping with her? No. Mm, yeah, right, whatever. He thinks you were when you were on breaks. Did you ever... David, don't sit up here and be like that now. You let her be her his friend. You let them be friends, even knowing their history. Like, that's... Bro. Break up with him and what? sleep with him? No. Is there any chance in your mind that these kids could be yours? No, none of them are mine. You came out here and you gave it quite large that he's a bad dad. What do you mean by that? He doesn't support his kids. You've only been there yeah, three so weeks. So why have but I I'm... gave Kelly 240 quid, leaving all my stuff behind for the kids to use, yeah? Go and do what? No, you talk. You don't yeah. support your kids. Kelly asked money for you from you to buy the kids stuff. You want it back so you can pay your road tax in your car. Get rid of your car and support your kids. Quite right. They're too. more important than anything else. If yeah. I had kids, if any of the kids. That is true, but you you kind of need a car. Shout out Jasper, man, for the file. Uh, if I did not no, 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 no. You listen because you. Uh, so are you. Ooh. At the end of the day, if I had kids, I'll get rid of everything. I'll get rid of my car. I have a job at the end of the day, and I'm here yeah, to support my kids. Yeah, and I had a job, and I'm on the course at the moment. You're a- you're a waste of space. You don't like the fact that, that he, I mean, naturally, because you're with her now, you don't like the fact that he insults her, but you told my team that he insults her and swears at her in front of his own children. Yeah, he calls her a fat was her a, was that her a true? mom. Um, I have done. In, in front in, of your own kids? Um, no, they've been upstairs. Still not great, is it? No, but you row not. with her in front of the kids. That's not good for any of the yeah, kids. Yeah, I try and calm Thank the matter know. down. You're not no. there, so just keep your butt out. No, I won't. At the end of the day, you don't insult anyone. You don't get aggressive with yeah. them. And you don't so punch why, why do you come out? Right, and start having a go at me then, eh? Backed on your word, ain't ya? How have I? You're a waste of space. You don't support the kids. Yeah. You're nasty. You have a serious attitude problem. Yeah, I've got anger issues, yeah. And probably some I took it out on you yet. Bring it on, like I've said. Yeah, At the end of the right. day, you don't hit walls when you've got kids in the house. You don't call yeah, her Yeah, it's name. better than hitting and walls than her, isn't it? You wouldn't dare touch her. At the end of right, the day... Are you going to get your in then, are you? I'm not, I won't touch no, you because I, 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 I wouldn't hit her anyway. I don't trust That's you. Why I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't like you either, mate. Nice space. Bro's all verbal, like y'all said in the chat. He's only talking because security here. I hear it. We can all hear it right now. This but is about the cool, car man. being Anybody attacked. ain't tough? Um, about two, two and a half months into the relationship, I actually started to stay over to Kelly, over Kelly more because Daisy, uh, Emily was actually teething. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said, is this Potter paper? That's that, now that. Y'all doing good in the chat with the jokes. Hey, listen. Um, to the last week, y'all um, been I on it. I come up the following morning to get in my car, and I had two large X's carved in my driver and my passenger. Which I didn't do. Who Which did is them? rubbish. Oh. I did a little tiny scrap because the key was blunt on the wing. And I, but I didn't do no X's on the well, So you did a little bit and your key was blunt because yeah. you've admitted to it already and then what somebody else came down the road and decided to do the rest of it, yeah? Well, You're yeah. a liar, aren't you? No. Yeah, you are. No. You can't handle no. the fact that she's moved I on. I didn't do no... Oh, I, don't I don't know me. whether... Yeah, he's definitely a bitter ex, 100%. Dad or a bad he's dad, but actually he strikes me as quite sensible and quite balanced. And I call like the fact that he's out here like saying, I don't want my wife or my girlfriend being called this, that and the other. I said it before and I say it again. Two kids. Do you have any doubt that they're his? No, they're his, 110%. They're but his. you are there now, you're with her, you're protecting yeah. your woman, you're going to help bring those yeah. kids up. How's this going to work then? How's it going to work? Um, well, I told him I don't want any the house once he goes. But here's the thing, there are you two beautiful kids, and I hope, I, I, you know, I don't know, but I hope you're right, and I hope David is their dad. But how is this going to work? Because they do not need... Them David's kids. <laughs> ...need all of this rubbish. No. You don't want him near the house. My friend said he can, she can pick him up from her house. But she makes life a lot more difficult than what it actually can be. How do you work that out? Well, how, how do you work, I work that, out? that out? She's doing everything for your kids and you do jack... She yeah. asks for money and you want it back. Well, you want to clean your eyes then, mate. I want to what? You want to clean 
your eyes. No, why do I? Why do I? Like I said, if I had kids, I would get rid of everything just to support them. Have you done enough for your kids, David? Yeah, I've done an awful How lot. How sure are you that they're the, you are the father of those two there well, on the screen? Oh, uh, 90% and 10% are not. <laughs> Kelly, you're 100%. Yeah. Anthony, you're 100%. Let's do this is all important DNA results. I think, yet again, another example of people who seem to not think about the consequences. I've said it before. Haven't you got kids from a previous relationship, three namely, that you don't see? Uh, I do see them. How old are you? Uh, 29. Well, I suggest you go and get a job. 29? You got five kids? He out here just shoot. He just going crazy. He just... You got to wrap it up, my boy. Pay for if these two are yours. I'm come out with some ridiculous yeah. comment, which is what, what was your comment? I've got a full time job with part time money. Maybe you need to get off your butt, spend less time with your car, and concentrate on providing. The DNA test results show that the biological father of Kelly's two youngest children is David, of course. Yeah, yeah. she was right. Oh, yes. What are you yeah. bringing for? I still want the paper. Because, uh, because I, mine. I'd be saying sorry to her to start with. Sorry. It's all. Because two seconds later, you'll chuck that wall back in her face. No, I won't. You're shirking your responsibilities. I've got it, I've got it in writing now. You right. haven't done enough, so have you? So you can stop telling me the kids are not mine. And to be and fair, everybody got to balance it. She told him in an argument he wasn't. That's why. Oh, God, like, I, I, like y'all got into an argument. You told me the kids are not mine. That's automatically is doubting my mind. I, what, are you, what did you expect? Yeah, I want a paternity test. Off rip. Oh, I'm just setting it in anger. Why are you holding it against me? Because you said it. You said it, period, point blank. Now I, now I don't believe that they're mine. I love them, but now there's doubt, and I don't want no doubt. Give me a test, please. Hey, we're here. You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to understand that, Anthony. If you didn't have to go on, then, exactly. then we wouldn't be having this argument, but would we? But a lot we? of people say things in an argument that they yeah, don't but mean. Yeah, you shouldn't, should you? No, no. I agree with that. Well, Kelly, with you that. were vindicated. They're his. What's important, presumably, now is that all the anger and all the animosity goes to one side. You're in a new relationship, that's your business. He's moving on with his life. They, those two beautiful kids, deserve a relationship with their mother and their father. We will work with you on this. We do it every single day. But it's give and take, right? There's no point in people going, he's not coming in. You can't base seeing kids on whether you're having a good day or you're having a bad day, whether you don't like her fella or you don't like his lifestyle. Those That's what I be trying to tell my baby mama. Like, you don't like me because I tell you the truth about yourself. So you don't call your child or nothing. Like, so what you, all right. Hey. Hey. We good. <laughs> should be the most important well, thing yes, to both are. of you. Yeah. Can we sit down in a room? Can we try and work out a plan? We'll find a place that's convenient. We'll set up a plan. The minute you don't turn up because you're too busy doing your car, right? She's every no, right I to say you'll really never see him the again. The minute you change your plan because you don't like him, you're angry or whatever. I won't stop my kids from staying there for good. Dad. Good. These kids. Just make sure you keep to that word, Dan. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah. Just, you you guys, for an argument you guys it, created it? lives, and you have to accept, as many people do in this country, that once you do that, you have a moral responsibility for the rest of your lives. Now get off this stage in separate directions, sit down with the team, you and right, work Jeremy? out a plan that will benefit not you two and your egos, but those kids. Comprende? Yeah. You go that way, you two go that way. Give them a round of applause. We're done. Thank you very much indeed. Right, my next guest today, Colin, is here to find out if he's the father to his ex's daughter. He says that although he knew his ex Jade was still in a relationship when they got together, she always told him she wasn't sleeping with her ex. My bad. I don't know why I keep muting it. Um, <clears throat> I said there's two guests. The max is two that we've ever had. I said it looks like this one can fit three though on this episode. How many times have we heard that one? When she fell pregnant, Colin says he believed the baby was his until that is Jade confessed that her ex could also be the dad. He says the doubts have destroyed their relationship and today he wants the truth of course. before he can decide if they have any future whatsoever. Big day for Colin on the show, guys. Good death for you, that was, wasn't it? Like, oh, God, whatever. Right, now this is a... I don't know if it's complicated or not. Jade's your ex. Oh. You were together two years. You split just two weeks ago. We're doing a DNA on Haley. How old's the baby? 14 months. Um, you what? met quite a while ago, yeah. first your friends, mm -hmm. then you start having sex. Uh -huh. 
Pardon? Yeah. <laughs> do you know she's with a bloke at that point? Um, yeah, that. So what yeah. you doing sleeping with somebody else's bird yeah, then? I don't know. Yeah, I know it was wrong here, yeah, but... Bugging. <laughs> you know. But she told you. True, maybe. That's her maybe problem, not, not yours. She wasn't sleeping with him, she was trying to get out of it, it was all over, Before. and she fell in love with you, yeah? Uh -huh. So why are you here? I be feeling like when I'm talking sometimes, I'm, I'm slight toxic. Because I'm talking about some... That's her problem, not his. Like, why would I say that? That's toxic. What's the problem? Start speaking. Um, well, when she fell pregnant, she was still sleeping with me, so... How'd you find that out? Uh, she had wrote down the dates on a piece of paper. Like, to try and figure out, try and help herself. Is it out. not true that you found her diary and she no. wrote, she'd written down the dates and the times so of when she'd slept uh, with both of you? No, it was the dates to try and figure out, like, see if she could figure it out herself. And at that like, point, you naively didn't think that she was sleeping with her ex. No. She, then you find that piece of paper. What happens? Uh, I asked her about it and she admitted it to me. How did that make you feel? Oh, just Where really is he from? Scotland? You said I was heartbroken, but I stuck by her. No. And what's a credit to this man? You've paid for this child, you've bought this child clothes, you've bonded with this child, you've even sold personal items so you've had more money to provide. Okay. What would it mean today if it is Good day. true Haley is yours? Oh, it would mean the world to me. What if she's not? I don't know. The relationship oh. finished two weeks ago because of this pressure, this pressure that won't go. That's what this is about. Do you love that kid? Good for you, mate. I can see it in your eyes that you do love this kid and I know you've stepped up to a degree. So change everything about your life when you see this child? Right. When I was doing the introduction, I sort of implied... Okay, y'all let me know if y'all think off the looks of the kid. To change everything about your life when you see this child? Right. Is he or is he not the father? Right. All right, I gotta look at him again. When I was doing the introduction, I sort of implied that you... I mean, you're not together, but is there still a future? Baby look like her 100%. But, but it I depends so. on this. Let me see. Well, I'd like to just get this out of the way first. Do you is... think if Hale is yours, you and Jade and Haley can be a family? Aye. But if Hale is not yours? I'd still like to try with it. Okay. Let's get her out. Jade's on the show, guys. The risk of you not liking me from the moment you walk out. What are you doing lying to him about your ex and sleeping with two blokes at the same time, love? I don't know. Sorry? I don't know. No, but, you know, if you were a bloke, everybody would be going, oh, that's disgusting, that's wrong, you did that absolutely. What are you doing having unprotected sex? Let me read you a comment, a statement from Andy. Andy's your ex, yeah? Yeah. During my relationship, Jade cheated on me with Colin. I'm only 50% sure that Jade's daughter is mine as she slept with Colin around the time she fell pregnant. If Colin is not the dad, then I'm certain her daughter is mine. Whilst I was with Jade, I raised her eldest daughter as my own. I've not wanted to bond with this baby before she has the DNA test because it was heartbreaking for me to stop seeing Jade's eldest child when we broke up. I've never wanted to get attached to another one of her kids and have to lose that bond again. If Colin is not her dad, then I want to be involved and have regular access. Might I just say, Jade, without you thinking I'm the devil? Yeah, I can't really tell. It kind of looked like him, though. Incarnate. That, my darling, is the reality of your actions. Not him being heartbroken or this one being upset, but kids mm. who have bonded with... No, nah, yeah, that's his kid. 100%. It looked like him. Oaks who might she not end like up him. being their fathers. Yeah, well, I do it one night now. What was that? I'm bringing up my oldest child. You also slept with... Excuse me? What did she just say? This one being upset, but kids who have bonded with blokes who might not end up being their fathers. Yeah, well, I do it one night now. What was that? I'm bringing up my oldest child. You also slept with two blokes and lied to yeah. him. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know Talk that. Talk to each other. You, 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 like, affronted that I should say that to you. Talk to her. I can't. I don't even know what to say. She's helped a lot before. Why just... She looked like the neighborhood bicycle. It's about two weeks ago. Because we had a big massive Respectfully. argument. Respectfully. About this? Uh, I've written a lie. Do you think if this baby is his, it can make everything right? I don't know. I don't know. If you want it to be right. Yeah. Cute kid. What's he been like before he went and argued? What sort of father is he? He's a brilliant dad. <laughs> Completely brilliant. You couldn't ask for a better dad. So everything is on this. This could be the perfect family, a relationship that works, or disaster in effect, yeah? Mm. I genuinely don't know the results. God, it's turning into that sort of morning. See those all-important DNA results, please. Dang, this is quick. Hold on, huh? Slow down. Yeah. I'm only paid to read it, and I'm being completely straight, OK? I think he looked like her. I think it is. he's the father. 
Jeremy. The DNA test results show that Colin. It's your baby. Yeah, hey, it looked like him. Told y'all, my DNA t detector from eyesight is 100%. <laughs> two for two. Yeah, I don't do you know what? I've got to tell you this. Sit down, pal. I look into your eyes and I was listening to talking to you. You're going to be a great dad if you're not a great one already. You might 100%. be 18, but I could tell straight away. And you saw that, didn't you? Good dude. And you've both said throughout your notes to us that you're both really good parents. And that says a lot to me. That's all I want to know. Go look after that kid. Go together. Stop listening to everybody else. Put the past behind you. Draw a line and have a life, all right? Nice to it looked like him right here. Look right here. Look right in here. All of that looked like him. Meet you. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Go that way, guys. Well done. Go together. Right, coming up next on this stage today, Liam is desperate to find out if he's the father to ex-partner Haley's six-week-old son. Now, he claims that the baby is identical to the two kids he already has with her, and despite them not being together at the time of conception, he claims they were still having a sexual relationship. Today, he wants the truth, and he also wants to tell a new boyfriend, James, to back off and let him be a dad. Liam's on the Hello, walk. Yeah. Oh, you've gone quiet. You're as loud as anything backstage. Sit back. Welcome to the show. Hayley, uh, your ex-partner, Liam, of seven years. We're DNA testing her six-week-old son. Yeah. When did you split? Um, we've been split up um, about three years now. Okay. Well, but you... you say that the reason I believe I'm the potential father to Hayley's six-week-old son is that although we weren't together and she's moved on and she's with James, we were sleeping together. Let's nail this story here and now. They both say you're talking out of your backside and that's rubbish. You are not the father. This is just you spinning a yarn. Yep, she, she does that, say, obviously, she, well, she does lie. Um, she says that we di weren't sleeping together. Were so you sleeping together? Yeah, we were. While she was with James? No, she, um, she weren't with James. It were another partner that she was with be uh, before. She's grown up to gain different uh, partners, falling pregnant and then gain rid of them and gain another. You said that I am the father because, and this is how you described yourself to my team, I'm super sperm. Yep. I get everybody pregnant. I beg your pardon? I get everybody pregnant. And that's hey, man knows his sperm. 100%. Hey, what can you say? Something to be proud of, is no. it? Can I make a... How many kids have you got? Um, I've got two and one away. I'd put some... Uh, no, that actually is something to be proud of. Got active sperm. That's, that's a proud moment. What do you mean? Something on the end of it, my friend. Um, you told my team I impregnate every woman I've been with. It's not something to be proud of. Yes, it is. Let's talk about her. You said the reason there were doubts was that she's a cheat. She cheated on you. Yeah. Tell me. Well, when we were with her mum, our cleaning all house up in our in, um, upstairs bedroom, which you can actually see at gate front bedroom window, um, she was stood at gate and she was waiting for somebody. I thought she was waiting for a postman. Um, but she wasn't um, allowed to walk up, went over the gate, gave her a kiss and carried on walking. Did you confront her? Uh, yeah, I went straight outside, confronted her. Um, Thank God it wasn't the postman. <laughs> <laughs> I went out, confronted her. Um, she, she denied it all, making it, that I, making it out that I was seeing things. Arguments kept going on for months. You're still in love with her, aren't you? I mean, let's be perfect. Well, she's just cut out all the rubbish about decorating rooms and... Jeremy is toxic. Postmen who aren't postmen kissing your missus. The fact is, are you not truthfully still in love with her? Hacked off she's with James. You told my team, I'm 90% sure that I'm the father. I need proof. I want to be the father. I know she'll cheat on him. That shouldn't be any of your business anymore, who she's with. You are still in love with her, aren't you? I don't love her as in wanting a relationship with her. I think I, it's I, wishful I, thinking. I, I think you I, think you want to be the dad because it might bring you back to no, her. Come on. No. I, I love her because obviously she's. I think my, you're still she, in love with her, mate. Kid's mum, but I don't agree with you. Wow, this is the new dude. The new dude and the old dude look exactly alike. Look me full square and tell me you don't love her. I don't love her. I don't believe. That is insane. Are they brothers? She didn't move up or down. She moved laterally. For That's one crazy. second. 
Do you honestly believe you're this kid's father? Before we bring James out, this is the new boyfriend. I mean, what, what's your relationship like with him? You don't like him at all? You get on with him? What? Um, well, sometimes I get on with him, like, but sometimes, obviously, he, he has very little digs and just, like, makes things up and, Well, he like... probably thinks you're the ex who wants to get back with his bird, and you probably think he's the new bloke on the scene who's taking over your kids. Should be a recipe for a nice morning. James is on the Jeremy K. Because end of day, yeah, I'm not going to take your role over your kids. And you're not the little baby's dad. How do you know? Because it's just what I've been told in... So you don't know? You weren't there, were you? At the end of the day, I've been told off early, he's not the dad, and I've been told who is the dad, and I've been, been told off the person who So is why, in your mind, James, welcome to the show, is Liam on national television wanting a DNA test and believing, 90% believing, that he is indeed Hayley's six-week-old... Yeah, brother, these accents are strong today son's father is it wishful thinking does he still love her what do you think i think he still loves me you got to answer that mate you, you had well, so much to say backstage well i don't love her because obviously she cheated on me three times and obviously i hold my hands up to the for actually wanting to try and have a relationship with her in the first place so um i don't love her obviously i'm only wanting yeah to let's see me. cut to the I'm chase shall we do you know what kids. he told my team come on you said the only reason he wants to be the dad it isn't wishful thinking, he wants more benefit money. Yeah. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah, I did. Come on, then. Right, as goes for me, benefit money, yeah. Do you know if I could actually go out to work, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd, I'd happily go out to work, get a job, and provide for my kids in the best way possible. Why don't you? Yeah, but at the end of the day, you but can I, go out I, to work yeah. because... After Your I've, oldest daughter is at full-time school, Leo. Yeah, she's only just started full-time yeah. Why don't you go to work? Why don't you get a job? I've put all my CVs in, I'm at Job Centre, I've cancelled my income support claim, and I've asked them to put me on Job Centre. Why has it taken you so long when you've got three kids, potentially? Why didn't you do it five years ago? Because I wanted to be there for my kids. Yeah, but end of the day, wouldn't you? I'd like to be there for my kids, but I have to come to work to pay for my kids, so the rest of society doesn't have to wipe my backside. Why didn't you go to work? Jeremy's not in his kids' lives. <laughs> he just said it. He just told us, I'm not in my kids' lives because I'm at work taking care of them. Bro, what? <laughs> the world's gone mad. Uh, you're saying he's not the father, so you think, no, what, not. he's still in love with your girlfriend and he wants benefit money? Yeah. And uh, he, he says, I don't even know why it's his business, but he says, I'm 90% sure that Hayley will cheat on James. No, she won't. But that's your business, isn't it? That's yeah. why you missed the point, because people are going, oh, come on, he's just desperate to, 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 to get back in her good books. Well, no. Because... Why have you gone... He lying. He's still in love with that girl, 100%. So quiet, Mate, pal. It's because... Obviously, number one, I'm, I'm obviously tell, saying that um, Ailil, like, 90% cheats on... What's that, what's that got to do with you? It, it ain't got nothing to well, do with Well, then why'd you say it, then? Because it probably will happen. And she, she cheats... She cheats. Jeremy cheated on his wife with his kids' nannies? Oh, my days. Told you. I'd be good, man. I could, before y'all even told me this, I knew what was up. And everybody. Yeah, right. but end of the day, though, Liam, Go on. into a relationship, why she probably had done it for, because she probably wouldn't have been happy. She, she wouldn't have been happy, so she's not happy with anybody, so why cheat on... Why does it bother you yeah. so much? Because you're still in love with her, aren't you? No. Yes, you are. You must I be, Liam. I don't love her. You must I be, mate. The only thing I want to be there for is my kids. End of day. So we, all you want to know about is... Who's stop you from seeing your kids? Do you really believe this kid is yours? Yeah. Why? Because she lo it looks a bit in the image to all my other kids. Let's get her out. The lady in the middle, uh, Haley's on the Jeremy Cass. What's the story? That's a valid reason, 100%. That is a valid reason. But, you gotta remember, the kid got her DNA too, but like most de most girls that come out, if these are girl children we're talking about, they look like the father. Were you sleeping with him? No, they weren't even on scene at time. So he can't be the father? No. But he says you were having sex? No. I won't have seen it, seen it time when you fell pregnant. No, I weren't actually with you. Were well, you having else. sex with him? No. You were living at mine. Yeah, but we weren't actually Are you 100% sure he's not the dad? Because no way you was living with that man and not <laughs> dropping down and getting your eagle on. Like, cut it out. 
This is the kids look like him. I'm telling you, I think he's still in love with you. It's wishful thinking. And you fella thinks he's a pain in the backside. And you've yeah. come out and gone, well, I wasn't with you. Did you have sex with him? No. Around? So you're 100% sure he's not the dad? Yeah. So what's today about for you? Proving that. You're happy with James? He says you're a dirty cheat. No. You told my team that this guy stole money from his kids. Yeah. All time when I'm living with my own little... team that this guy stole money from his kids. Yeah. Oh. Why are her shoes so big? She got the EU Stepper 8s on. That's tough. Like, gee. She looked like she can cook a soccer ball very far in them. That is tough. Time when I'm living with my own, only living off twenty pound a week, and I was pregnant at the time. Is that true? Um, no, early, early, early try again. Did you steal money that was meant for your children? No, I'll never steal money off my kids. Yes, you See, did. I, 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 I don't know what Gallagher. people expect me to think. Sometimes you come out here and you, and you're like, you know, you, 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 you butter wouldn't melt, and yet. I don't know. I just... Have you played him? No. You weren't sleeping. You're 100% sure? Yeah. So we're going to do the DNA results, but we've got... Um, who's Keely? Uh, she's my friend. Keely's on the Jeremy Cup. You're right. Cheating on him three times. And you're a cocky little... I need to stop speaking down to him. I beg your pardon. What right do you have to say that? How long she's have you known him? About... Two this Jesus oh, yeah so you were she came out on business though around I mean yeah. I don't get the story I mean I get this I mean it's not right I get the story I don't know what I'm supposed to say he says I might be the dad because I would see now you've come out I don't believe you either he says they were having sex, despite the fact they weren't together. He wants to know the truth. Have you ever told him he is the father? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah she has. When? Uh, one she's, of my friends. She's messaged loads of my friends on Facebook, yeah. telling me, um, telling them, uh, saying, oh, do you think father to... Um... Have you ever done that? No. Yeah, she yes, has. I've been there when she's been messaged. Um, Everybody is just a liar on this. On the, like, I, don't, I don't know about this one. Every time I get into a relationship, she messages them uh, saying that um, I've always took money off them, off of my kids. See, I got an eye for them too. Listen, if you see my track record in real life, you'll understand. <laughs> my bad. Let me not get into that. I don't want to sound like that person, but I'm just going to lie. Even though I've got a savers account open for both my kids. Let me just kids. explain also how weird this situation is. The two of you have split up. You had two kids, irrespective of the one we're doing DNA. And those kids have been split up. You have one each. Mm, yeah. Who the hell made that decision right. and how the hell does that help When, me and, it, when it, me and Ailey split up and uh, I signed my house over to Ailey, so Ailey... How does that... I don't want to hear about your bathroom. I want to hear about how that... No, no. Wait a minute. When you and who split up and you gave you signed your house over to somebody? House over to Ailey, so Ailey, when it, me and Ailey split up and uh, I signed my house over to Ailey, so Ailey... How does that... I'm, I don't want to hear about your bathroom. I... Jeremy, why would you stop that? That is valuable information that we need to know. That, that, that speaks to his character. I want to hear about how that possibly is good for two children being split up. Well, well it's in, it was Ailey's idea family. that Casey came and lived with me because Casey had too many needs because she were older. No, it's because she was living with my mum and basically he turned around and says to me... Oh, so you have one child and he has one child? Yeah, because he turned around and said he couldn't call Do they ever see them. each other, the children? No, because he stops me half the time and jewels in kids it's as well. It's just like... You stop her from seeing your own child? No. I try, I try and see Jack. I tell you what, I don't care if, if, if the whole world disagrees with what I'm going to say. That is appalling that you were allowed to even make that decision because despite the fact that, you know, you might or might not be in love with her or you might or might not hate him, I don't really care about your relationship. Two kids, siblings, don't get to see each other because you two are too damn selfish to work it out for your own. Okay, I get it. Okay, okay. Okay, if you would have said anything else, Jeremy, besides the two siblings not trying to see each other, I would have questioned you. And now, and now another one, six weeks old. I thought he was all in love. Since you came out, I don't know what to think. Why do you all keep having kids? Seriously. Does anybody ever think about the impact? You can sit there and grin. Benefits. A kid that doesn't see its sister and doesn't see its brother because you two can't argue. All you do is argue the toss. That's the real issue here. It's disgusting. You should all be made to stop having damn children. That's the whole truth. Six weeks. Jeremy, you, 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 never mind.
Years of age. Are you 100% he's not the dad? Yeah. 100%. There's the baby. Beautiful. How is the baby, all right? It's fine. Not the dad? Yeah. 100%. There's the baby. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say it looked like her current boyfriend. This baby is this is a cute baby. I ain't gonna hold you, but this baby looked like her current boyfriend. How is the baby? All right. It's fine. How sure are False. you that you are the child's father? You said it looks like all the others. Oh yeah. One hundred percent sure he's not. Yep. One hundred. This it, it looked like he the daddy. I could be wrong because sure. they look alike, but... Oh, well, you are. This is interesting. The DNA test results show that Liam is the child's biological well, father. So you are a liar, aren't you? Oh! She got caught up on stage? So, you didn't have sex with him, you liar, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing, no? Watch your back, pal, because he's right. You denied that he's the dad. You said you didn't sleep with him. You're a liar. That's what you are. I told you Liam was like his, but I said it, though, and I forgot I had said it. Liam said it looked like the rest of my kids when they came out. That is a valid observation. That, that, I don't appreciate the follow, uh, Trooper. Like, that, that's a valid observation. Uh, if you got kids, you know. Like, all your kids be looking the same when they come out. And if it's something off, then you got to hold on for a second. You're right. What about you? Do you believe that now? Yeah, I don't know. She had sex with him. How can you honestly sit there and have said, I'm 100%? Come on. <laughs> she did say, so. hmm? hmm? Guilty as sin. He was right. And what are we going to do with that one? You can have it three days a week, and you can have it for four. Do you know what I'd do? I'd get all three. That's what I'd do. Oh, God. Yeah, get all of them. I really changed my mind on this story. You're a liar. Nothing to say speaks... Jeremy, you was just dogging bro out, man. Volumes. Until you got the proof. You just like the rest of society. You gonna allow him to see this child? Yeah. How are we gonna do that? As long as as much as he wants to see it, baby, I'd let him. The only thing I want you lot to think about before I put you in a room with Graham because I haven't got the patience is that all three of your children deserve to not only know actually the only good thing in your three children's lives are each other and you should concentrate on making sure that the three of them spend time together because you two I hope we sort it for you pal I hope so as well and tell you something else as well lady you know the word passion I would have expected you to be a bit more passionate about your kids I don't think you care about your children at all. I think it just becomes, what, the latest man and whatever. They're human beings, they have feelings. And the best thing about it is, if you carry on treating them like this when they're 16 or 18, they won't want to know you. But my concern is it will be a cycle, and they'll go... Nah, no cap. Jimmy be speaking facts, but he also be waffling a lot. But, like, a lot of... Especially now, it seemed like back then, I feel like younger people, like, in general... And I'm talking about my age, too. When you have kids, like, you forget that they are... A human like don't be treating them like like objects or something like, like. have kids at a young age do what's right by your kids you Cheers. two that way you two that way we'll meet backstage <laughs> for me right again a story of two people creating lives one with the mother who doesn't see the father one with the father who doesn't see the mother and a six-week-old as she said he wasn't the father and he is all you can do, and we'll try our best, is try and get them to focus their brains on what's right for those kids, I despair. Right, next. Yesterday, Martin has been with his wife, Natalie, for 20 years. Now, at the start... Dang, this is four episodes in one? Four pieces? ...of their relationship, Natalie slept with another man. And around this time, she conceived their first child, Andrew. Mm. Now, Andrew is 19 years of age, and today, Martin will find out if he is indeed the father. He's waited. Just bear this in mind. 19 years. This is a massive, massive day. Years. Martin on the Jeremy Carl show. All joking apart, I can see this is absolutely big, huge, big right? Um, really appreciate you being here. Um, and it's not a story based on anger or whatever. It's no. uh, probably the biggest day of your life. Mm. Yes. Not long after you and your wife um, had Andrew, 
you discovered that he might not be mine. Take me back and tell me how you found that out. Did you uh, confront her? What was the... No, um, a member of a family turned round and told me that he wasn't my child. Had you, any, had you had any doubts to that point? No. Did you ask her? I did, but it, was all, it always got pushed under the carpet. We, we'd never speak about it properly. And it's just, as Andrew's grown up, uh, we just thought he needed to get sorted At out. At what point did she admit, because I said in the introduction, that around um, the time of conception she had the one-night stand? At what point? How old was he? I'm, I'm not sure, but he wasn't a baby when I found out. When you, when, when, you told, when you told that, did you... Was there any part of you that thought, I'm done, I'm out of here, I can't do this? No. I, I like what you said. I'd like is the wrong word with what you're going through, but... For both of you, it's been easy to throw it under the carpet, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So the question that I want to ask is, why now, why today? Is it for Andrew? Yes, because he's grown... He's, he, he was 19 last Saturday, and we thought, now he's grown up enough, it's the best time for him to find out. How has it affected you the last 19 years? Not good. Has it affected the marriage? Yes. But you've stayed for the right reasons. I guess it's the thing that comes up if there's a row. Yeah, all the time. I really respect you for being here, and I mean that. What about Andrew? How, uh, when did you tell him? When was he made aware that he it's, might... Uh, it was about when he was 16. I thought if you tell him when, he, he'd understand a little bit more. He was about 15, 16 year old when I told him. And his mum wouldn't tell him the truth at first, but she has told him the truth now. There he is. Uh, Y'all don't even gotta waste no time. That is your son, buddy. <laughs> Y'all ain't even got to go ahead. Wow, I don't even know why you brought that boy here. Y'all could have just looked in the mirror. The man what looked just like your hook. Got your hook. Bro, got your whole nose. All of this is the exact same. I mean, I don't know the results. I mean, I, I have to do this the only way I know. If he isn't, what happens? Nothing changes. I'm still his dad. I, I brought him up. I don't know why you're even wasting our time. <laughs> you'll, you'll be heartbroken. Anybody can see that. What will that do to your marriage? Um, it's going to be hard for a while, but I, I will try and get over it. Can I tell you something without you taking this the wrong way, because you're much bigger than me? Um, you, are, you are the sort of person who I meet that makes me want to continue to do this show, because you're a good man and a good person, and I hope you get the result you want. I can only read it out, but whatever happens, what you just said is true, and I suspect he's going to come out and he's going to say... Yeah. He is a good man, good person, man, and he got one of the most elite dad fits on that I've ever seen. This is elite, look. Comfortable shoe wear, you feel me? Shorts to be free and, and, and get you a good little breeze. But you got to be professional up top. You got the collared shirt on. The collared dress shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is Elite Dad Fit 101. I need to step my dad fits up, clearly. You know, this guy has been amazing. And I'm that lacking. should be your judgment. We're going to start, though, because he's backstage at the moment taking this all in. Uh, Natalie, uh, married for 13 years together, 20. We're going to the show. Is that all right? You okay? Natalie's on the Jeremy Carr Show. Give her a round of Nat, welcome to the show. Um, what a man. I don't want to ask you about what happened 20 years ago. I want to ask you what sort of relationship Martin has with, with Andrew. He's had, he's, got a good, he's had a good relationship. He's fetched him up from day one. Thank you. Did you expect him to hang around when you told him that you cheated? Um, no, I didn't. No. But, say, he's been there from day one and... Has it... He admitted it has. I'm interested in your point. He said, I'm too young to have a dad fit. Listen, I like to wear a dad fit every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And then if I go outside, you know, I put some young shit on. You feel me? But, you know, I, I wear a dad fit every day until I got to go somewhere. Then we switch it up. Has it affected the relationship badly, this? Um, I won't say it's affected it. It's just we've argued and... Occasionally it's been fetched up. I want to point out this lady was 16 at the time. This is, you know, it, it wasn't... I'm not condoning anything, I'm just saying, and, and Martin made that decision. Um, you did say that if, if Martin is the dad, you believe that everything literally will be perfect like that? It would be. Do you worry about the other side of the coin? Um, I'd, I, I am... She was 16 when she had the, the, the child? How old was he? I'm worried that it's going to come back that Martin's not his dad, but as far as I'm concerned, Martin's is his dad anyway. How old is Martin? 
I, I feel fueled. Listen, um, he's a little bit nervous. I'm going to go and get him, OK? Is that all right? Yeah. You both all right? Give yeah, them a round of applause for right. Natalie. I'm going to go and get him. OK. We might have just uncovered something in, in 720p. Not 4K, but 720p. How are you, fella? I'm mm. fine. Huge day for you. Oh, nice to meet you. man, he even dressed like his dad. That's tough. These are the same people. Thank you, Gray. Um... How are you feeling? Stupid question, but how else do you start? I know. I'm quite upset, but I'm glad it's coming out. I want to know now. How did you find out? I was asking Martin, you said about 16, he thought you'd be ready for it. Was that a shock? Did you ever have an inkling? Yeah, because of the eye colour. I've always thought I'm not his son, but never really mentioned What sort of dad has he been? Great. He's always been there for me. Do you... He's just, I say so to Graham all the time, how do you ask these questions? But do you worry about your relationship with him if he's not? And I can only read out the truth, obviously. Do, do you worry about how it will pan out? Yeah, but I think he's going to be there for me still. You'd want him to be your dad, yeah. right? Yeah. Can we get Martin and your mum backstage, please? Thank you very much indeed. Right, you'll be all right, mate. Man, I hope this is his dad, man. Don't do this, man, like this. I'm just not exactly the same as you. Mm -hmm. Nicest thing I've ever heard. Shut up, Jeremy. Um, no reason to... Jeremy, why are you standing like that? <laughs> Jeremy. Ah. Hey, Jeremy, chill. Nicest thing I've ever heard. Jeremy is cutting up back here. Um, no reason to delay this. Should we do this? Yes. You sure? And, I'm, and I just want to say before I open this, I, I can only read the results. I don't, I don't know them and I don't want to... The DNA test results show that Martin... He's just son. <laughs> That's good, 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 good. That's good, man, because listen, today's not today. I, I didn't want to go through no heartache. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to have a good time. That's cool, yeah. The show hit different when everybody on the stage is mature and older. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not cool to lose it on television because you've got friends and stuff, but that must be a hell of a great feeling, right? It is. Yeah. Because you look like, I was going to say, it's just something just gone like that. What do you want to say to me? Jeremy, leave him alone. Oh, I would go after, I don't know, we've got to sort all this out now and have a real good chat between us, haven't we? Yeah. We'll, we'll get this sorted, mate. Honestly, we'll, we'll get this sorted. Yeah. One thing I noticed about this show, man, Jeremy don't never know where to sit or how to stand. He just be outside. He just be there, guessing. Brilliant, brilliant news. It's, yeah, that's all I've ever wanted. I've been really worried today. Do you know what's really weird as well? And again, it, I, I said it to Andrew about what's your ideal age and all that to tell. The irony is you've spent 19 years arguing about this. Um, I'm delighted that we can get you the, the truth. And that is the truth, Andrew. He is your dad. And I just, I'm chuffed to bits for you. And we'll give you whatever support we can. Even Graham's got a smile on his face. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Happy you came? Yes. Yes. I was there. You know, I'm not a silly person. Ooh. I should have had this sorted a long time ago. But I, I just, every time me and Natalie tried to do it, we, we just argued about it. I guess, I guess it's what I said out there. It's easy to sweep it under the carpet. We've all done that all our lives. Yes. Are you happy, Andrew? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Final word from you. I'm over the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Really good to meet you, Martin. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Like, really good to meet you. I'm going to leave you all right. Yeah, we am now. Graham will come in here and we'll leave you. Give him a round of applause, those gentlemen. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Oh, Grandpa. All right.
so, so pleased for that family, specifically for Andrew and Martin. And it begs the question, that sort of story, doesn't it? When is the right time to tell a child that, you know, there might be doubts about paternity? When is the right time to do something like that? That family could have saved 20 years of arguments, but the great thing... Yeah, man, it's a spooky thing. You never know what the, the, the right time to tell a kid. Like, me, I would, like, I don't know, bro, because there's really no... I don't know. I, like, you would want to say, like, get it over as soon as possible, but, like, a child's mind between them, be, before 10... It's like, you don't know how that could affect them, but you don't know how it could affect them after. But I would wait until, like, 9, 10 years old to be like, all right, now's the time. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, in seventh grade, so you don't bring this into high school, you know? Thing is, Or however so old you are at, at that age. So now that with Graham, their lives are back on track. I am for this morning out of time. Don't forget it. Alright, TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification, buzz, I'm done.